Hi everyone, it's Becky here. And today is a very cold overcast day here in Montreal. And I'm just trying to stay warm just by staying at home, having a cup of hot chocolate. Now it is 2.30 in the afternoon and it's already kind of getting dark outside already. So here's my bag of bagels, my hot chocolate. So I use very minimal amount of tools to sketch anytime, anywhere. So one watercolor palette. And I also have like a makeup bag with a towel for cleaning my water brushes. Two water brushes for painting watercolors. And just one fine liner pen to draw at a time. I have other fine liner pens, like a sepia pen and a dark sepia one and other ones, but yeah, when I'm just starting to do a sketch, I just focus on one pen and two water brushes. So this is my current art journal and I've been working on it for, let's see, I started on October the 10th. Today is November the 15th, so it's one month now. So I'm going to work on this page. I did this cafe sketch yesterday at Cafe Pista. Today I'm going to work on this little space left over from yesterday to sketch my bag of bagels. So I kind of use my hand gesture to visualize the size and placement of the bag of bagels um, on this uh, white space. So having like a plan, even though it's invisible, is pretty important in the beginning. So if you're a beginner, it's okay to use a pencil to start, you know, drawing the uh, the contour outline of the things that you want to sketch first. That's that's fine. So now I'm just starting to draw the knot of the bag, almost using a blind contour approach because I don't want my brain to start judging the uh, the aesthetics of this part because the less that you look at the paper the more that you are actually truly seeing, okay? So when drawing organic shapes like these, for example, uh, like plants or bushes or trees, a lot of the times I don't look at the paper very much and just draw spontaneously following what I see without judging what's coming out on paper. And now I'm drawing these wrinkles beneath the knot. And now I'm drawing this uh, green label area. The shape of the banner is, is being distorted because of the unevenness of the bag. And there's another uh, label thing here with some letters in it. And another banner on the right hand side being distorted. And a circular logo. Yeah, so the logo of this brand is the sun. So I just drew the rays of the sun. And moving on to the upper part to start drawing the first ring of bagel up here. And the back of the uh, ellipse shape is distorted because of the plastic package and the cut in the middle of the bagel and drawing a few of the uh, poppy seeds and sesame seeds on the bagel that I see. And then I'm drawing this uh, little banner in the middle of the package and writing the name of the brand, Country Harvest, and another uh, square shape underneath and another little banner there on the bottom. And these shapes are so much fun to draw because of the distortion due to the unevenness of the plastic package and the name of the product that gives the identity to this package some tiny squiggly words and the uh, the unit six bagels and another distorted shape yeah it's a logo the sun with a face on it and these rays from the sun yeah that's a pretty nice thing to attract the attention and now moving on to finish drawing the rings of bagels. So these are actually little short chubby cylinder shapes. 
So the bottom of these bagels are always curves, not flat lines. And then drawing these seeds on the surface of the bagels that I see, adding a bit of accentuation around the bottom of each bagel to show a bit of shadow and density. Keep drawing more rings and the seeds on the surface. And the last ring and some more little seeds here and there. And just using very gentle pr pressure to add a bit of wrinkles and the last bit of seeds on the bagels and some final package details. Yeah, some more seeds scattering around on the bottom of the package. Adding some final polish with the drawing, accentuation around some of the wrinkles that are deeper lines as I observe. And that's very much it for the drawing. Now I'm just writing down the time and the little note. So this is part of our journaling that you can write down the time and the date and the little note. Moving on, I'm ready to paint watercolors. So just wetting the whole area first with a bit of uh, clear water by squeezing my large tip Holbein brand water brush. Wetting the paper first is so important to, um, to create a really loose style to let the paint spread out quickly on, on the surface. So I'm just putting on a bit of a lemon yellow mixed with yellow ochre and also a bit of cadmium yellow. Wet into wet is the second layer. A bit of orange into the yellow ochre to create a little bit of transition and difference in, in tones of yellow. So if you want to make your paintings, whether it is watercolors or acrylics or oils, you have to create um, at least three different tones of the same color family. So now I am blending on a bit more orange. Orange mixed with a bit of leftover burnt sienna. So now I have uh, different subtle tones of um, yellows, oranges, and browns blended together in a nice way. And now I'm letting the bagels to dry and starting to use leftover lime green mixed with uh, verdant green on top, again, to create differences in tones of green, or in, in other words, to create contrast. And same for this uh, square piece over here. Nice and loose, a bit darker tone of green here in the middle for contrast. Okay, and now I am painting these uh, lemon yellow colors for the, uh, for the logo, for bits of pieces of shapes here and there on the package. So yeah, these are just for fun. Red orange color there for the other half of the sun. And grabbing a little bit of uh, raw umber to paint this part of the package design and leaving little gaps of white in the middle uh, to show highlights of the plastic bag. And now I'm painting these tiny areas of transparent uh, package using a, using a smaller brush and also less watery. So it's very important when you're painting a small area to switch to a medium or small brush. Yeah, so I mix my own light gray with uh, ultramarine blue, a bit of royal purple, and a tiny bit of green diluted. Yeah, first layer for the plastic package, it's very important to keep this gray very much diluted, and then gradually adding another slightly darker tone by mixing less water into it. Just a little bit around the edge of the bagels where they uh, have a bit of shadow on the package. And just grabbing some more leftover gray, start a darker tone around uh, the knot area, and that's it. The key to painting a plastic package is not to overpaint. Just keep it simple with like two layers. And uh, painting the reflection of the bagels with a leftover yellow orange. And then the color of the shadow with blue, green, and a bit of royal purple. Pretty intense around the very bottom. 
Okay, so while I was painting the plastic package, the previous layers of the bagels are dried. So now it's a very ideal time to do wet on dry to give the bagels even more contrast with the mix of orange and burnt sienna. So sometimes when adding another layer on top for even more contrast, you have to wait for the previous layers to be almost dried. Otherwise, your new layer is going to get absorbed by the wet paint. And now an even darker brown. So you can mix a bit of blue into burnt sienna to make the brown even more intense into a sepia color and an even more shadow color with less water. That's it. Here is the look of my finished little sketch. It took me about like 15 minutes or so. So thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. If you like it, please click like and leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for weekly updates. See you very soon next time, everyone. Have a great day.